Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial on how to get started with the location weather pro plugin. This powerful tool allows you to display real-time weather information on your website. These informations can be customized to show the current and forecasted weather conditions in any location in the world. After installing and activating the plugin on your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu called Location Weather. Navigate to the plugin settings, then API settings, and here you will find an option to input an API key. To get your API key, log in to openweathermap.org. I am already logged in. Once you logged in, you will be redirected to the API keys page. Here you will get your free API key. Copy the API key from here and put it into the API key field on the plugin. Save the changes. Now let's dive into the plugin features. Click add new to create a new weather view and give it a title. Below that, you'll find several configuration tabs. Initially, you'll be in the weather settings configuration tab. Here, you'll find four different layout presets like vertical curve, horizontal tabs, and table to display weather details. Each of the layouts has multiple templates like six vertical curve templates, four horizontal templates, two tabs templates with tabs alignment position, and a table template. Then, set your specific location by city name, city ID, zip code, and geo coordinates. If you wish, you can set a custom location name which will override the location name coming from OpenWeather Map. Check the box if you want to display weather details from a custom field. With the Location Weather Pro plugin, you can allow your visitors to see their location weather information from where they are accessing your site. Using the IPG location, the plugin displays the visitor weather details. Next, configure the weather measurement units like temperature, active temperature, pressure unit, precipitation, wind speed, and visibility. For each data, you will get multiple properties to configure. You can display the temperature in Celsius, Fahrenheit, both and degree symbol only. If you select active temperature unit as auto, then it will detect the visitor's location and show the preferred unit of that location automatically. Now let's move on to the display options configuration tab. In the general settings, you can configure location name, current date, date format, current time, time format, time zone, language and preloader. In the current weather tab, you can show or hide the weather condition icon, choose icon type from animated static, light, fill and glass morphism. When you select light and fill, you will have the option to change the weather condition icon color as you like. Configure icon size, show or hide the temperature, high and low temperature, real fill and weather condition short description. In the additional data tab, you can show head the pressure, humidity, wind speed, precipitation, clouds, rain chance, snow, wind gust, UV index, dew point, air quality, visibility, sunrise sunset, moonrise moonset, moon phase, and national weather alerts. Organize the weather additional data in 10 different layout styles. For the first three layouts, you can visually represent your weather information in clean, divided, and strip style. Configure additional data icon, icon type, icon color, icon size, space, and margin. When you select additional data style as carousel, you'll get the option to configure your carousel from here. On the forecast data tab, you can show hide the weather forecast and you can display weather forecast for daily, hourly, and a combination of both forecast data. You can display daily based weather forecast up to 16 days. For hourly, you will get two options, one hour and three hour to display the weather forecast. For one hour, you will get the option to display 48 hours weather forecast and for three hour, you will get the option to display 120 hour weather forecast. Change the daily and hourly forecast title. Configure weather forecast icon from animated, static, light, fill and glass morphism. Configure icon size, forecast data background, forecast toggle button, forecast toggle button text, maximum height and margin. In the footer tab, you will get the option to show or hide detailed weather button date updated time and weather attribution check the box if you want to link the weather attribution to open weather map set footer margin if you need let's see how you can stylize your weather views display your weather views in solid gradient weather based image and video background video background support html5 and youtube videos simply input the url of the video and you will see the video will be displayed in the weather view change overlay color from here Configure content padding, border, border radius, box shadow, and most importantly, you can change the weather view maximum width to align it with your website content area perfectly. Go to the typography tab to configure current weather, additional data, forecast data, and footer. 
text, form family, text alignment, text transformation, font size, line height, and etc. Before changing the font family, make sure to enable this load weather section title font. Now let's move on to the plugin settings menu. Here you can see the license key tab appears first. Next, we have already configured the API key settings. On the advanced settings, you can check the box to clean up data on relation. In Q or DQ, your Google Forms enable or disable skip cache for weather updates. Write down the custom CSS and JS here to modify your default styling. On the tools menu, you will get the option to export and import your weather views. Let's get back to your weather view shortcut. Publish it. Now go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcut using the location weather provided by block. Choose the shortcut and you will get a preview of it. Publish the page and view it. You can see the weather view is displaying on the web pages. All in all, the plugin will help you to improve your site user experience and boost your SEO ranking. Hope the video helps. Thanks for watching.